for Tech, where every day is a quest to find the newest technology and video games. With this being a new channel, we really appreciate your support. So do us a favor and like, subscribe, share, and comment below. And here we go. Hey friends, happy new year and welcome back to Quest for Tech. Before we jump into the speed test, we just wanna let you know we are running our 2021 contest for Best Buy gift cards. All you have to do to win a $20 Best Buy gift card is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment letting us know what product you'd like to see us review in 2021. So let's go ahead and jump into the speed test. First up is T-Mobile. And we are testing T-Mobile 5G versus AT&T 5G. We're in the south suburbs of Chicago. And in our area, T-Mobile is running sub six low band 5G. So first off, T-Mobile gets 46.8 megabits per second download and 20.1 megabits per second upload. Let's test it again. And this time for download, T-Mobile gets 54.4 megabits per second. And for upload, it's looking like 18, maybe 19, nope. 18.98 megabits per second upload. All right, let's swap in AT&T. Using the Z Fold 2 on AT&T 5G. And right off the bat, AT&T just destroys T-Mobile. Up in the hundreds, finished at 172 megabits per second download. And for upload, looking like around 44. Forty-three point seven five megabits per second upload. Let's test again. And again, wow. So apparently where we live, which is we're in the south suburbs of Chicago, um, AT&T 5G is a lot better than T-Mobile. Um, I'm not sure, maybe we're near an AT&T tower. There's so many different factors that could take effect, or it could just be that AT&T has built out their 5G network um, a lot better or stronger in this area, not sure. To my knowledge, they're both using 5G sub six. So AT&T finishes at 282 megabits per second download and 45.6 megabits per second upload. Let's go ahead and test one more time. Wow, yeah, AT&T is killing it. Those are some Xfinity speeds right there. All right, AT&T finished at 204 megabits per second download and 48.6 megabits per second upload. Let's give T-Mobile one more chance on its own to redeem itself. Let's see. Now, if you saw our 2020 test that we did in the same area, T-Mobile 5G was a lot slower. I mean, it was probably 15 to 25 megabits per second. So for it to be finishing now at 54.9 megabits per second, download and 22.9 megabits per second upload. 
it's definitely been improved since the last time we checked. So that is positive. I know you guys give me a lot of crap when I do this, but let's go ahead and test them both at the same time just for sake of testing. Still, even with both of them running at the same time, AT&T over 200 megabits per second. Download, AT&T finishes at two, AT&T finished at 219 megabits per second. Download 32.4 megabits per second. Upload T-Mobile at 46.6 up and 21.5 down. All right, so I guess for, so I guess the moral of the story is for 2021, at least in, at least in the burbs of Chicago, AT&T is definitely outperforming T-Mobile 5G. We'll be back with the millimeter speed test. We got to go downtown to do that. So we'll see how that works out. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for your chance to win $20 in Best Buy gift cards are giving away a bunch of them. So do us a favor, please subscribe, help us continue to grow. We really, really appreciate it. It really helps us out. So thanks so much for questing with us, everybody. Please stay safe. Have a good day, everybody, and never stop questing. Peace.